Let's bow our heads and close our eyes as we pray. Father in heaven, the Lord of lords, King of kings, our Savior, our refuge, the rock of ages, we come before you praising you because you are so great. We cannot even articulate enough about your greatness. We thank you for this privilege in time that you have granted us. The time that we did not even deserve to come before you as sinners as we are and give praises to you. We thank you for the hope for Africa programs. We thank you for the series that began on the very beginning of this month. We thank you for the health lessons we thank you for the family life lessons. We thank you for the sermons that were presented from this very platform. Father, we praise you for the servants that you have been using. We thank you for Dr. Chidi. We thank you for Mrs. Ernestine Finley. We thank you for Pastor Mbaga. And in a very special way, we thank you for Pastor Mark Finley. Each one of them, as has, they have been used for your glory, we place them into your hands this evening in a very special way, asking that you may be with us as we go through these programs for tonight. Even through the programs as we praise you through songs, we ask that you may bless the choirs as they have sacrificed their time and every way they could to make their way here. Bless each one of them in a very special way. Father, we pray that tonight, as you call us to respond to your calling, we ask that the Holy Spirit may woe us, may bring us closer to you than ever before. We pray for the downlink sites all over East Central Africa Division, all over the continent of Africa, and beyond this continent, we pray that your blessings this evening may reach each one of your souls. We thank you because you have heard of our prayer, for we have prayed believing through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And all the time, indeed it is God's nature to be good. But many of us keep asking, if God is so good, why is the world so bad? Our families are on the verge of separation. Lifestyle diseases are affecting us left, right, and center, draining away our finances. Our health is deteriorating by the day. Social security systems are not working. Nations are taxing people out to poverty. And we ask ourselves, where shall our help come from? It is for this reason that Hope for Africa has been bringing unto us messages of hope. Because our good God doesn't want us to wallow away in pain. He gives us a good starting point where we can deal with diseases such as obesity, where we can deal with diabetes, where we can handle hypertension, where autoimmune diseases cannot have a thing on us where we can deal with all these things that confront us day by day. Is there hope for us? Yes, indeed. But how do we start? Reversing disease is a personal choice. Secrets to wellness is a good starting point. Taking at least eight glasses of water a day goes a long way in ensuring that we get a good blood pressure balance for our blood. While at it, a good dose of at least 30 minutes of exercise daily ensures us that we are good to go. Have you been doing this? Studying, being compassionate, loving, and ensuring that you yield yourself for the benefits of other people. This world with a thousand wrongs shall soon be turned to nobler songs. What do I mean by that? Jesus is actually coming again to wipe away our tears. Our loved ones who have gone ahead of us will rise on that day. We'll be caught up with them in the clouds. 
But what does it take to be there? Unless you are born again with water and the Spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. And so we are invited to join God's church through the ritual of baptism, being fully immersed in water, we have an option to make a difference in our lives. Indeed, we have been deluded in the past to think that genetics is the only key that gives us lifestyle diseases. But whereas genetics loads the gun, lifestyle pulls the trigger. Tichatini is coming forth today to tell us how important it is for us to sleep, to find rest, and enjoy the Sabbath that God has given unto us on a weekly basis. But while at it, Pastor Mark Finley too is coming to remind us of the beautiful peace that exists in Christ Jesus. Peace not only for they that keep his law, but they are, we wait for the a thousand years of peace that shall be the portion of the redeemed who believe in Christ Jesus. Remember when it comes to our families, we do the right thing. We do the good thing. Because it is not only good, but it is the right thing to do. This has been hope for Africa. Remember, there is a last day. There is a last hour. There is a last moment of appeal. A last day of frivolous pleasure for every man and woman. When that last day comes, on whose side shall you stand? Be blessed. Good evening, good morning, and good afternoon to everyone who's joined us today. Another session for us to join um, in this session of singing together songs of hope. And today we're going to sing one hymn. And before we do that, ministering today is myself, Donna. And on the keyboard we have my namesake, Donna. And with me is Christine and, and Michael. And Michael, thank you very much. I'd want us to turn to him. Five, three, one. We'll build on the rock, the solid rock, the rock that is only Christ, the mighty rock. We'll build on the rock. Five, three, one. We. Mm -hmm. 